Today's summit, the second in three weeks, addressed the general insecurity in the sub-region with recent attacks in Burkina Faso, Niger and Nigeria. Leaders in all 16 countries, with the exception of Mali, who is suspended from ECOWAS activities, resolved to effectively collaborate to end extreme attacks in the region. ECOWAS Chairman President Okufado says attacks in the region are clear indications that no country is safe. We're still confronted with serious security challenges, with deadly terrorist attacks and kidnappings, not only in the frontline countries, namely Mali, Nigeria, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, and Niger, but also in the coastal countries of our region, such as Cote d'Ivoire. Recently, the terrorist attack, which resulted in the death of some 132 civilians, including children, in Burkina Faso, on 5th June is the latest such outrage. Excellencies, these developments should reinforce our collective commitment to pursue and implement with renewed vigor the decisions taken at our extraordinary summit on terrorism on 14 September 2019. This concerted effort, which must be a major issue and a priority objective for the community is the best way for us to address the security challenge. It is a matter of dignity and sovereignty which affects all nations in the region. None of our countries is insulated from the threats of terrorism. When the coronavirus pandemic, President Akufado told ECOWAS leaders that Ghana, Nigeria and Senegal are working to produce a vaccine to deal with the pandemic in the sub-region. He says global politics with the manufacturing, procurement and distribution of vaccines have pushed the three countries to embark on such an initiative. We note, however, that the quantities received are wholly insufficient. We must thus continue to work on the purchase and production of vaccines in our region. We have to encourage members of our community such as Nigeria, Senegal, and my own country, Ghana, which are making the effort to produce their own vaccines. We cannot afford to be naked the next time. The recent decision of the G7 to provide more vaccines to developing countries is commendable. In recognition of the devastating effect of COVID-19 on the African continent, the president of the African Development Bank, Akiwomi Adisina, says the bank is willing to help West African countries accelerate growth and development to ensure economic stability. The African Development Bank projects that Africa's GDP growth will rebound to 3.4% this year. In West Africa, GDP growth is projected to recover from minus 1.5% in 2020 to 2.8% in 2021 and 3.9% in 2022. But the rebound will depend on access to vaccines. Africa should not be begging for vaccines. Africa should be producing vaccines. The African Development Bank will ramp up support to Africa to produce vaccines as part of the vaccines plan of the African Union. The bank will also commit $3 billion to developing the pharmaceutical industry in Africa. Your Excellences, it is now time to rapidly build a healthcare defense system for Africa to tackle these and future pandemics. The African Development Bank plans to invest in building quality healthcare infrastructure in Africa.